Hi everybody, well, I'm flicking feathers again today and I'm tying Renee Harrop's Transition Midge. Right, it's a nice wee small chronomid pattern. Um, fishes nicely in the film as an emerging midge. Best kept small. Um, I mean, maybe up to an 18, but probably 20s, 22s, 24s. As always, we'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content, and be eligible for the giveaways. You can also subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos. That's all appreciated. Got my hook and my vice. This is a 22. Uh, Tianco 100 uh, SPBL and I've run on some Uni AO and Grey. Fred colours are up to yourself, match the bug or or not. Um, now the one that I had in the vice there was just like a sort of standard with the plain dubbed the plain dubbed um, body, but there's a, it's also quite a nice wee variation. You can add a wee bit of sparkly dubbing as a thorax. Um, you can see it there in this one. It works well and it's maybe good to have both in your box. So, the shuck is just a grizzly hackle, and I've already used this for um, a fly, and I'm just going to round off the hard edge from trimming it before now you'll get you'll get several flies from a, a feather I'm going to bring this in about a shank length at the back just catch it in with a couple of turns see the length Just got to check that. That looks it might be a wee bit. You know, it's fine. It looked a bit short to me there, but it's actually the right length. And I'll just trim away the waist. Set it aside for the next fly. And I'm going to come to like the three-quarter point on the shank, and then. I'm going to take a CDC puff, catch it in with the tips pointing forward, and just draw everything back until everything's behind the eye of the hook, and then put a bit of tension on it to stretch it and tie back. Check it for length, check the tie ins back. It's just long enough, that's fine. Right. I'll sort of separate this and get a wee trim. Take the middle fibres that, sort of, that are sticking up, take them away. And then I'll get my dubbing. Now, I'm just tying the standard version. A wee bit of black, super fine. Very small amount. You can always add more. It's harder to take it off. Dub up to the Tough to the CDC. And just sweep in front and get a ton of dubbing in, in front of them. Just make sure they're sort of sitting nice. You can sort of sweep them to the side. And then 
this is a bit fiddly at these wee sm small sizes but draw the you can use your hackle pliers if need be you can grab the root of the CDC puff and draw it across the top drop a wrap or two over it and then you can let go and see how you're sitting pull it make sure it's all on top and it's even and then I just lift that up two turns of thread in front and then I can whip finish support the hook and tighten your knot trim away the waist trim the CDC to make a wee head and then the last thing I'll do I'll just take a tiny spot of varnish and I'll just touch the thread wraps on the underside here and that will soak into the thread and seal that knot so there you go a nice easy tie quite quick you can very quickly put a dozen of these in your box and they're very effective little parts so I hope that was useful hope you enjoyed it if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel tight lines guys bye